Welcome everyone to Guacamelee 2. Now that I finished up Shantae and the Seven Sirens, I decided it's time to get back into this Metroidvania because I already finished Guacamelee 1, specifically the Super Turbo Championship Edition, which is honestly a great game. I mean, that's one thing I've been doing on my channel, just, you know, keep playing Metroidvanias because I love them and I know a lot of you love them too. So anyway, we're going to begin here with this game. Overall, the length is actually fairly similar to Guacamelee, at least the Super Turbo Championship Edition. In terms of length, some people actually claim that that one is a little bit longer than Guacamelee 2, but overall they're kind of around the same in length. So let's see here. Rumble, no, that's that's fine. Uh, display area resize, okay, that's perfectly fine. Um, we're just going to go ahead and start now. So there's that one, that file, but I'm just going to say nope, I'm going to go to this one. Alright, so. Previamente en Guacamelee. That means previously in Guacamelee. Let's see what happens. Juan, this way, Galaka has captured Lupita. He's about to merge the worlds of the living and the dead. This will be challenging for you, even in your prime. Don't worry, Juan, you got this. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so we just start right here, right off the bat, huh? We have all of our amazing abilities, so much health, so many things that we can do here. Alright. Ugly true, what the heck? Alright, but this should actually look uh, incredibly similar. Familiar, you know, to the end of Guacamelee 1. Oh, whoops, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> My bad. My bad. But as you can see, he's uh, incredibly easy, even even after all this failage that I'm doing over here. Oh, those are actually purple, I just realized. Like, oh my god. Here we go. He's down. Luchador, you are lucky I spent all my energy on the ritual. But yeah, this is supposed to be a much, like, easier version, you know? New World Order. What is this? What the hell is this, WCW? That was pretty creepy. Especially if we put a still image on the skeleton. Like, wow. Alright, so here is actually... <clears throat> version number two which was actually fairly challenging in the original but in this one you'll see how pathetically easy this actually is here versus question mark alaga all right here we go mm -hmm. whoa that actually launched me like all the way all you have to keep doing is you can take these hits it's actually fairly simple there we go. Oh, hit me again. Oh wow, how crazy is that? Bam, that's it. being lowered. It's being lowered. And then here we'll see the uh, the ending of, uh, it's actually the good ending of Super Turbo Championship Edition. See, one thing I didn't actually talk about is, well actually, maybe I talked about it a little bit, I don't remember. But if you don't actually 100% uh, Guacamelee 1, you know, with like basically everything that I was doing of getting all those mask shards or whatever, then you'll actually not get this final ending. Instead, she'll be dying in your arms. Dying in your arms tonight. Oh my gosh. No, but seriously, uh, that's what's going to happen. And it's like the bad ending, you know? But anyway, I guess it's enough talk about Guacamelee 1, right? Even though I'm probably going to still be talking about it. Who knows? Who knows? Oh my gosh. What is this? 
Papa, are you looking at your posters again? It's playtime. Okay, okay. Let's go. Alright, so you'll see that um, I'm actually running pretty slow. I can only jump once. There's not a whole lot I can do right now. You see the kids? Right over there. Well, ice cream myself. What? And you're calling my bluff. Hmm. I might actually eat all the ice cream. Am I supposed to go down there? No, I'm supposed to go up here. Who's hungry for tacos? Me, me. Oh, they're almost ready. Esperanza, Juanito, get off the table. Esperanza, Juanito, that's funny. Picks them up. I have to finish my dissertation. Your dissertation? Whoa. Uh, sure. So we're gonna go that way. As you can see, we're back in, uh, you know, this very iconic place. Of, what's it called? Agave Field? Wait, I'm gonna press. Yes. Agave Field. But I am running very, very slow. That is my max speed. Because I'm out of shape. It's been a long time since I've actually, you know, done some stuff here. <laughs> since I've saved the world. I guess you can say. Wow. <laughs> Alright, um... Oh, I can't even go up there. Should I just go in? No, I'll just keep going. There's not much I can do. The map will actually tell you where you have to go, and as you can see, we gotta keep going to the left and up. But look, here's... Javier. Hmm. Avocados. Better hurry, I saw Frey, uh... Oh, okay. Sure, let's go. Right here. Uh-huh. Oh, what? The church? Oh, Juan, you like some avocados? I had a full barrel earlier too, but I'm almost out. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. Punch, well, look at my- look at my super garbage offens offensive capabilities. Oh, damn it. Thought it'd be easier. Here you go. <laughs> I think they're doing that on purpose, just to, show you, just to show you how much you've actually declined in power and stuff, you know? But, alright, there we go. Black things just appeared. Oh no, not again. Mm-hmm. Esqueletos, save us, Juan! Well, I still got it a little bit. I can fight some garbage skeletons. Oh man, it's the goat guy. Juan. Sorry about the skeletons, I'm glad I found you, man. Quickly, we must travel to the darkest timeline. The Mexiverse is in grave danger. Okay. Okay. Brook skeleton. <laughs> Juan, be careful. Okay, I will. Let's go in there. Just see an E equals MC squared. That's hilarious. It's a bunch of random stuff. Oh no, this isn't right at all. This feels about halfway there, like some sort of purgatory. But it's definitely not the darkest timeline. Come on, it can't be much further. Another door? Well, fine. Wow. <laughs> this is Riviera City baddest timeline. Sup. Slowly inclines to whatever. Oh, what are you doing here? Who's this? El Presidente has been kidnapped by ninjas. Are you bad enough? Hombre to rescue El Presidente? Hmm? Isn't this game so weird already? Like, it's such a weird start right off the bat. Like, it's crazy. Pueblucho, Darkest Timeline. We're in Pueblucho. That's it, the Darkest Timeline. This way, please. Alright. What's going on? Oh, this music. I'm digging this music. 
I can be I can barely believe it, senores. We, we chivos. It was horrible. Please describe what happened. I was just fixing my bike when Salvador, you know, the Salvador, the one that killed Calaca, showed up. He had a gang of weirdos with him. A magician, a dead dog lady, a talking cactus. Wow. Careful, boss. The top one is not a step. The suspense is killing me again. Wow. What? No, I'm the brains. You're the muscle. Silence! I need to prepare my monologue. But first... <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, the golden relic. Soon I will reach the Monkahide. And its sacred contents will give me stir- He was coughing. Some salsa stuck in your- Oh, yeah, you know, this game definitely keeps that humor going from the first uh, guacamole. I haven't really talked about that, but yes, and in fact, I think it tries to do even better. And it's kind of like a hit or miss, you know, like if you like this kind of random humor, then you'll love it. And if not, then you're just going to kind of avoid the dialogue of this game and just play it for the gameplay. Either way, the gameplay is fantastic. What in the world? Wait, please don't tell me that. It's the Juan. This is the last Juan left alive, the very Juan I told you about. He defeated Galaka in his timeline, saved Lubita, and survived. Wow, incredible. Or increíble. This is the Juan, yes. Alright, well, only surviving Juan. Please step forward. Have you heard of the three legendary relics? No. Salazar has taken one of the three relics created by the God of Time. Okay. But disturbing these relics could cause the timeline to collapse in on themselves. Salvador's evil ambition may very well lead to... To what? The end of the Mexiverse. Oh my god. Gasp! Santa Marimoren! What the hell? Uh-huh. Okay, let's, uh... Wait, what? Gotta go to the right. I think it's still... Yeah, yeah it's way over there, okay. El Pantera. Sasha. Alright, back in the field, darkest timeline. Good thing the loading screens are actually pretty fast in this game. I do appreciate that a lot. There's a red block there, but we don't have the ability. We've lost all of our abilities. Still more that way. More, more, more. Los Manglares, Darkest Timeline. Yeah, so most locations in this game are actually going to be very different, like very new. Um, and there's only like two locations that are actually making a return from Guacamelee 1, so... It's cool that they added some originality here and they didn't just recycle a bunch of maps, you know? That's pretty nice. We got some skeletons here. Did that thing just freaking fall and kill itself? I think it did. That's crazy. Remember these little guys? Yeah, enemies though do actually uh, are, are recycled, a lot of them. There are several new ones, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot that are the same as before. Okay, we're still running that way. Luckily we're only encountering very minor, uh, you know, resistance here. For the most part. Oh my god, look who it is. It is you. Mm-hmm, it's me, Tostada, guarding the mask. Do you remember me? It's really strange to see you again. Nice mustache, by the way, so thick. We were so close to defeating Calaca in this timeline, Juan. I swear we won't make the same mistake with Salvador. Just hold still and close your eyes. This will only take a second. What the heck?
Well, I'm somewhere new, that's for sure. So we can't go over there. That's blocked with a blue block. Lots of weird stuff that's going on here for sure. Oh, look at that. Here it is. Hmm. Before turning into a skeleton. And... Juan is back. The iconic Juan that we know. Because of that mask's power. That's the one I remember, although I kind of miss seeing the mustache. Now we just need to get you back into the world of living. The council can help me with that. They're furthest east in Pantanillo, the swamp town. Let's go, Juan. I'll be around if you need me. All right. Additional players may now join. Press, uh, whatever. I don't really care. Okay. Okay. So yeah, now we can press this to view the map. Obviously, we cannot go to the right because, yep, we can't go that way. Something there. We can't access it yet. But however, even though we are moving faster now, uh, we don't have any of our abilities. We do have to go and get them. So, you know, that's just a little, you know, just reminder that, yeah, we are basically, like, back in the beginning of the game of Guacamelee 1 in terms of abilities. Can't do that much, but that's okay. All we can do right now is attack. These are the red skeletons. Um, you will see that even though enemies are coming back, a lot of them are actually redesigned. Like that one, the red skeletons and the green skeletons didn't look like that at all in the original Guacamelee. They're the same concept, same enemy, but they're just different, you know, in how they look. You can still uh, dodge though, uh, just dodge right there as you saw. Dodging is going to be very important, probably even more important this time around in this game. Alright, here is a dodging thing. We just passed by a shot, by the way, I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Oh yeah, these you actually have to do that. You gotta dodge if you want to have any shot at hitting them. There we go. Pretty simple stuff, right? I mean, you get it for the most part. Oh, that one actually- oh my god, he knocked me down. One of them killed themselves, though. That's pretty hilarious. It's always hilarious to me. Uh, can I even get that up there? I definitely can't reach up there, so... Nope! Alright, so every time you get into these little arenas, this game actually tells you Lucha. Um, whoops, what am I doing? Which is different than the original. You may want to start throwing him too if there's a lot of enemies. That might be a little helpful, but it's fine. to kill the red skeletons first, because this going to be so annoying. There we go. By the way, these are shops, um, but in this game, well, I mean, they work as shops, but in this game they don't. They're not like that. It's just for switching characters and stuff and costumes. Uh, the way that you buy stuff and upgrades will actually be introduced to us in just a little bit. Um, You'll see, so yeah, you, know, you can jump high, jump low, whatever. I also don't really need to be defeating all these enemies, but it is kind of useful to do it um, early on because you want to get a lot of money. Then we just got a chest. So, just like the original Guacamelee, there's going to be chests all over the place. Every time you get a chest, you can see your percentage up there in the top right. Map complete 2%. What? This place is humongous then. Yeah, see how it says that? Wow. That's crazy. Pretty simple stuff here, though. It's a red block right there, another red block, okay. Down and B to drop through platforms, yep, same mechanic as the original Guacamole. Let's keep going. Oh, what the hell? What am I doing? Here, let's let's hit this thing. That nuts us a heart container there. Uh, or, heart piece, sorry, for a full heart container eventually. 
just like the original again. Everything it's, it's very similar to the original, which is, but it definitely expanded on a lot of things that the original could have done even better in. I would say. Um, overall, I think Guacamelee 2 is a better game. That's my opinion, of course, but just saying. All right, I'm gonna put that thing, and here's our first ability by hitting this Chuzu statue. Not a ripoff at all from Metroid. It was just a coincidence, you know. Face <laughs> Salvador, in case you forgot, choose the statue's told the secrets of the ancient Luchador techniques. Uh huh. All right, so we got the rooster uppercut. That's cool. I'm not going to be talking too much about the dialogue here every time I get abilities, because I kind of get it, you know. We got the rooster uppercut, which is very, uh, it's very nice. I just simply press, you know, up and up and A, and you will do it. It's that simple. Let me check the map here real quick. Uh, okay, we're good. All right. Those enemies we actually are not going to be seeing all that often in this game. Those like turtle-like enemies. I actually forgot they existed. What the freaking hell? Oh my god. Fine, just attack him normally, it's fine. What's next? I was waiting for something. You freaking... Oh, it still hit me. Okay, is that it? That's it. I'm gonna hit that and go through. Alright, so let's see what we can find here. I guess I'll do that. One uppercut plus a... Montage of attacks is usually enough for... I did not make that jump. <laughs> I might get... Oh god, oh god. Okay, got you, got you, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, and with that, I think we're just back up here. Almost, actually. There's still a little bit more. Oh, another, uh, another Lucha. Yeah, so now shields are gonna get introduced. This thing was also a thing in the other game, if you remember. I gotta, I gotta recharge it. Hurry up, please. You can only get two. The, the yellow circle from the top left corner that you can see right under my health, that's actually your stamina. Every time you use an ability, like the rooster uppercut, for example, you will use one and they replenish over time. There are abilities and things later in the game, or passive boosts that will actually generate that faster. You can also get more stamina eventually, so you can do more moves. Lots, lots of good stuff, lots of good stuff. Um, I should probably drop down there. There's, a, there's some stuff down there. Oh, damn. Oh, it's over here. Barrel. And then this guy. Yeah, lots of good stuff here. Can we reach that? We can't reach it, but we can hit it to still unlock it, so that's fine. Well, we couldn't stand there. That's fine. All right. So let's see. Now we're gonna just uh, yep go back around. Obviously, we know where to go. Uh, I can't do it yet. On my, we want to pay attention to your stamina because if you jump and then try it, it's not gonna work and you're gonna fall, which is very unfortunate. Okay. More barrels here. Every time you see barrels, you should break them. They will give you. Um, Good amount of stuff. All right, so we're back over here. Uh, there's a couple that we can... I mean, there's plenty that we can break, I should say. I'm not sure which one is the one that leads us forward, though. I don't specifically remember this, but... Okay, this one leads to a chest, I believe. So I'll gladly take it. Lucha! Oh, damn it. He got me. Okay, hope that one survived. So, there's actually more. Wow. Okay, he's dead at least. That's good. Doing some nice air dodges there. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to fall, though. Here, you can do a little shortcut by using your... that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You fall all the way down. Is that it? That is it. Okay, we'll take that, some more money, and then we'll take this thing for a heart. Yeah, they're actually called heart chunks. They're officially called heart chunks. 
case you're wondering. All right, so we got through that one. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see what this one leads to. This one might actually be the one that leads forward. No, actually, there's another chest over there. Okay, so I think we're fine. Uh, this one doesn't seem too bad. I think we just... Uh... Oh, whoops. I, I needed to get more momentum to the right. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm so freaking dumb sometimes. There we go. There we go, and then we just drop, grab that, and we are good to go here, got it. Yeah, so these are stamina chunks, like what I was saying. So if you ever get three heart chunks, you'll get a uh, health increase, and if you get three stamina chunks, you'll get a stamina increase. I think the last place to go is this way, everything else we've already explored. There's a blue block over there, but we can't do much with that, and there's not much that we can do there yet, so... Because we don't have those abilities yet. Here's uh, Tostada again. This is it. We made it. Mm-hmm. A portal. Alright, I don't think I need to talk to any of these people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't. But there are barrels here for money and stuff. The heck? Getting fit? Uh, sure. Gotta work, work, work. Work, 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 work. Okay, I'll, I won't ever do that again. I promise. Alright, we're gonna go in here. We also got a trainer unlock thing, and I'll talk about that in just a little bit. So, extracurricular cardio. All we need to do here is run to the right. Just hold to the right. Because I think if you that should I even should I even bother? I think it's a little bit faster. There we go. Did it. Alright, anyway, what we unlocked here, so if you press uh, minus, so now we so we have the world map, which are all these locations. We have the map, and then we have skills. There's going to be five different trainers in the game that you can buy different skills, like upgrades off of. So for example, this one says increase health by a full heart. Increase stamina by a full circle. Killing enemies will grant more health. Stamina will regenerate faster. Killing enemies will grant more gold. So, yeah. Um, collect gold chest, 2 out of 10. Oh my god, alright. So I can buy this stuff right now, but I'm actually going to keep my money at the moment. Because um, I know I know the pathway that I want to take. Um, in terms of, you know, unlocking stuff. This portal here will enter the living world. Okay. Sure, whoa! Wow. Everyone's just saying hey to me, like, what the heck? And Tostada as well. Mm-hmm. They said lights, please. The god of time loves guac guacamole above all else. He spent centuries perfecting his recipe. However, sadness overcame him every time he finished eating a batch. Tiempo... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Came with an idea. El otro mundo. A place where all of time converged. With guacamole in his past, present, and future, he'd never run out. Naturally, he was quite protective of his recipe. Mortals were not allowed to taste his sacred guacamole. So he hid the key to El Otro Mundo inside three magic relics. And then he went to sleep. Wants to eat the sacred guacamole because he believes it will give him godly powers and cure his sickness. What? The Jade Relic should be inside the Jade Temple. Juan, you need to get there before Salvador does. Okay. So that's what we gotta do, huh? It's gonna be over to the right side. Sounds good. So before I do that, though, there might actually be some more stuff I can do here, possibly. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Oh, this one's open. Is there anything here? 
There is something here. What is this? Ooh, look at that. Money! There's a purple block there, and then there's an orange block there. I can't do anything with either of those. Okay. Um, there's another building over here on the right. Oh, this one. You again. Uh-huh. Remember this guy? He was one of the villains in the original Guacamole. Not in this one, though. Not in this one. Alright, so this is basically like... If you remember that one boil place in the original... Where you can do like combo attacks and stuff. This is the same thing here. So, for example, once you do this, it'll actually tell you. It'll it'll teach you combo. So that's the basic combo. It's a three hit combo. The next one is you jump and then you do it in the air. You can also do that. Okay. And then you can also do um you can combine it by doing that and then jumping and that that's not the uppercut. That's just up and attack. But then you can do the uppercut. And also attack, that also works. And now there's that. Three attacks and then an uppercut, that also works. And then this one's a little tricky, you gotta do that, jump. You see that? That's pretty crazy. Okay, so we get money for that. And I think that's it for now. It's streak meter. 49 hit, hit enemies until you reach 25 and you're hit. You just keep doing this. That's it. Now if you get hit... <laughs> wow. We'll reset and I'll try and break my record of 49 hits. Let's see if it's impossible. I don't know about that. Oh, we did it. That's it. What? No! Yep. You cheater. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, uh, I got some more money. Yep. Anything left? Okay, that's it for now. We're gonna be coming back here later and later for more stuff. But that did actually unlock, um, the second trainer, which is you, Flameface. Uh, use dodge when you hit the ground together. Quick, that's actually pretty good. Third combo will be more powerful. That's also really fantastic to be using that. Get gold for hits after 25 hit combo. Gold rewards multiply. These things are usually some of the better ones to be getting because if you get more gold, you can get upgrades much faster. Uh, special moves cost half stamina after 50 hits. Yeah, we'll worry about those later. But uh, either way, we're actually done for now. I just need to go find a, a save point. Save points are, I don't think I talked about this, but save points are basically the shops. Did I mention that? Okay, these are war points. Secret guacamole. Just talk to one and a warp one will be unlocked. We can't warp right now because this is the first one we've unlocked, but, you know, just letting you know. So we're just going to go over what the heck is this. That's a new type of enemy there. Uh, why can't I find a save point? What the heck? There we go. Oh, it's because there's so much freaking... Are you serious, dude? Okay, like that. Up. Yeah, we'll actually just go ahead and. Well, man, he's still not. I'm just going to end it here. Let me go to the left first. Yeah, alright. So before ending this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I do post multiple gaming videos daily, so be sure to check out my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.